Winchester Ranger 38 plus P 130 green. We're going to go and, and test out. I think this is the most uh, modern of these uh, Winchester rounds that we have. Or at least this is, a, a, I guess, a police or law enforcement version. Um, so I expect, hopefully, the best performance out of this particular round. All right, this trip I'm having better shot placement than the last time here. This is where that uh, ranger round went in. And it went through the first block. And here's the hole that went into the second block. But I am not exactly sure where it is in the second block yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. And then we're going to dig that one out later. Um, that one is going to be look a lot different than the next round I'm about to test. So... Um, we're going to just move on and then we'll find that one and uh, get the distance and, and whether or not it expanded later. Okay, there's a lot of room left in the block. I'm going to take another shot with the uh, Winchester Ranger 38 plus P 130 grain bonded hollow point. All right, here's that second ranger shot. It hit right here, and then you can see the damage inside. Went into the second block and stopped right in there. The total distance we have on that one is right at 13, 13 and three quarters. We'll dig that guy out. All right, here's this one. I apologize, it's starting to rain today. But this is the only day I can get out to the range. So here was Ranger number two. That's pretty good performance again out of a three inch 38, 38 plus P. So we'll still find and dig out Ranger one here in a little bit. All right, after some exhaustive digging, I found that first Ranger round. It was about 12 and a half inches into the gel, the front edge of that was. So there's the first one at the bottom compared to the second one I took at the top. Overall, very good performance from the uh, Winchester Ranger through uh, my heavy clothing barrier and a 3 inch Taurus 605. All right, we're going to go for a splash with our well performing Ranger 38 plus P. All right, I found the bullet. It destroyed those three water jugs, ricocheted off the fabric barrier, and landed on the ground. So there's the one through the water jugs. There's the first two I took. Again, Ranger Plus P 38 Special 130 Green Bonded Jacket Hollow Point. Did real well today. All right, we are back from the range here after testing the 38 Special Plus P 130 Grain Bonded Jacketed Hollow Point Winchester Ranger Round. Um, this round comes in a, a 50 round bulk pack box. Um, I picked this up a while back. Um, not that long ago actually from, uh, I believe it was from My Wall Corp online. Uh, they sometimes have, uh, I, I think, some some like police overruns, or, or or they seem to come into some some good contract deals. Because I believe this was a former law enforcement round. Um, so it is still available, still uh, produced, as far as I know. Um, this round performed um, excellently out of the three inch um, Taurus six oh five that I have. Uh, as you can see, um, here are the three rounds that I took. Uh, I took the first two in the gel through heavy clothing, and the third one um, I shot just for more or less for fun. Uh, through again also heavy clothing, but into three um, two liter water bottles with, with fabric backing. And it, it went through uh, all three of those water bottles and bounced off the fabric and was found uh, on the ground nearby. So decent penetration there. As far as the two into the gel, 
Uh, the first one went to about 12 and a half inches. The second one went to about 13 and three quarters. So the average for those two was 13 and an eighth uh, inches in penetration. And as you can see, we got full expansion on those. So depth was, was right where we want it to be. Maybe a little short for some people, but I think the expansion more than makes up for that. As far as, uh, let's see, check out the weights here. Uh, 130 grains on the first one, so nothing lost on the first one. 128 on the second, so maybe a little bit of lead loss on the second one. And then through the water jugs, again, right at 130. So very minimal, if any, lead loss. Expansion, again, really good expansion on these. We'll go ahead and, and measure these up here. Uh, see what we come up with, but uh, I'm saying these are really, really, really good. So we got 0.59 and 0.59 and 0.58. So Really good on that first one, and that second one here. Let's see how we do on the second one. The second one here, okay. We got 0.61, so one sticking out there pretty far, and 0.59 and 0.58 so again really really good expansion on that through the gel this was the first one again through the gel so again, those pedals pushing back like that. Um, in the gel, you can't quite see the, the talons sticking out on these. I mean, maybe a little bit. But when I hit the water jug and then hit the fabric, that is where you can really see those talons come out. That is the Winchester talons sticking out on those ones there. You can really see that when it went through that water and into the fabric. So, there's that one. And this one, we'll measure this one up too. This one was some some wicked expansion. Um, again, and, and maybe it's just because the water's not as dense. But, uh, we got, looks like about 0.65. Point six two with those talons sticking out. Point six. That one wanted to say point six seven there in that last one. So uh, point six two, six five, and six seven with those talons sticking out. Uh, without the talons, uh, again, still really good penetration. Um, oh, you know, overall for 38 in a short barrel, uh, as long as you can handle a, a plus P. So, so for for my 357, this is nothing. There's there's no the pressure's not an issue. It really would be for an older 38. But as long as you can shoot uh, plus P, if yours will handle it, and you're carrying uh, you know a three or four inch barrel, um, this looks like so far one of the best rounds that I've I've tested. Um, very consistent, uh, still available, which is a good thing. Um, um, and, uh, I believe they're still producing this as well. So I have not seen them do a, a, a Ranger one version in 38. I'm not sure if that's something that they are doing or not doing. I haven't researched that, but, but this is a good option for anybody with a, a shorter barrel 38. Um, still got some other, uh, Winchester rounds to test 
and uh, stay tuned for that. Also, uh, we've got uh, at least a 1.380 test coming. I also ordered uh, a few more different types of rounds I thought might be interesting. And I'm sure there's more in the safe that I haven't found. So stay tuned. Again, a lot more coming.